I'm about to do an experience I didn't think you could do. Tonight, I'm going to be traveling in an overnight bus capsule hotel from Tokyo all the way to Osaka. Hi, we're Stephen, Jess, and Little Hunter, an Australian family currently having the best trip ever in Japan. Going to Japan. Going to Japan. But tonight I'll be saying goodbye to them to show you one of the most unique forms of transport we've ever taken in this country. Oh, Jess is gonna laugh so much when she watches this vlog back. So if it's your first time visiting Japan, you're probably going to fly into either Tokyo or Osaka and you're probably going to want to travel to both of those cities. Now you can go on the Shinkansen, the bullet train, or you can fly, but I think I found a more unique way, an overnight first class capsule bus hotel. There are just so many incredible experiences you can do right here in Japan. We've been three times before on separate trips and now on our fourth trip I'm about to do an experience I didn't think you could do. For the less than one week we've been here in Japan we've had some incredible street food. Being transported to the Mushroom Kingdom, stayed in the oldest hotel in the world, bathed where Samurai's once bathed and we're just getting started. I was pleasantly surprised to find out you could do a unique motor transportation. You guys are probably wondering where Jess and Hunter are. So they've actually caught the bullet train ahead of me so that I can show you guys this experience because I think Hunter's probably a little bit too small to be coming on this little overnight bus with us. I'm actually on the hunt for some food for dinner. But we've come across soda vending machines and even sriracha vending machines but this is the first time I've come across a Pokemon card vending machine and you know what it's been the better part of at least two decades since I bought a Pokemon card and if I'm gonna get one this is the place. We can open these up on the bus. So I'm after just like a bento box, something I could just take with me on the bus, but it's like almost 10 o'clock, a lot of places are closed. I have about an hour to my bus, so I'm just gonna see if I can find something. Actually, just ended up stressing out. <laughs> Didn't even find where I needed to catch my bus, so I just bolted. I didn't really look around the shop, but at least there's a 7-Eleven. You can always trust them for food. About 15 minutes till my bus comes. Now, thankfully, this is one of those experiences in Japan you can actually book online. There's a few things you can't, but I did notice one thing. I'll give you guys a quick hint. It rejected my Australian credit card when I tried to book it. Luckily, I have like a international card called a TransferWise card where you can put different currencies on there. So I put some yen on there and it went through fine. So just a little tip if you have issues booking it. I booked directly through them and it was about 18,000 yen for the night, which is definitely a bit more expensive than catching the book train and of course longer but it's an overnight bus so you can kind of save some money on an accommodation because you don't need to book a night because you're gonna be sleeping on the bus this is so cool <laughs> So first impression, I'm already blown away and excited for tonight. So when I arrived, I was given my capsule number. I'm staying in B2 tonight and I surrendered my shoes into a little bag and was given slippers for the duration of the trip. It's really cool because there's only 11 capsule rooms in this little bus. And if I was just doing a day trip, not even wanting to sleep, this is so comfortable. And honestly, there is like, I'm on a bus. There is so much room in here. Okay, I don't even know where to begin in this room door. Maybe let's start with all these buttons that I have. The first thing has to be the sticking out of here. I don't even know what this does. Oh, it's like my own mini air conditioner. Light control. Second light control. And then these, it looks like it's how much we can control the seat. <laughs> I know, showing off a toilet is never the highlight of anything currently on a bus. There's like a robot toilet back here. It's like a futuristic Japanese bidet. There's just even more buttons to look at. Just look at this. First of all, having a seat warmer bidet on a bus is just next level because we all know on buses you're happy that there's a toilet on here but they're always just not the most pleasant place to be but this one has a bidet and also if you don't want anyone listening in with you there's also sounds that you can push up and down so that um, you can do your business in peace. Plus there's also got a sink in here and everything and of course in full Japanese style there's slippers for everything. Even at the back of the bus here they have like a full washing station if you want to grab some fresh water brush your teeth which I think that's what I'm gonna do now just start getting ready for bed and I think there might have been some pajamas there for me as well I think we need to get changed <laughs> 
like this. It is pretty comfy. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like a full dress. <laughs> kind of similar to the ones that you get at hotels. Many typical Japanese hotels, but this definitely feels a lot more comfy, a lot more silkier, a lot more luxurious. Gonna sleep in this. We just want to say a massive thank you to Surfshark VPN for partnering up with us on this video and keeping us protected throughout our travels. So if you're currently traveling or about to go traveling, we highly recommend you use a VPN service. So a VPN, it pretty much masks or hides your IP address so that it protects you and it can even help you when you're booking your flight. So there can be flight discrepancies depending on where you're booking from. So just say you're planning to stay at the Caesar Palace. So you can just look from your current location and you can get a certain higher price. Switch on the VPN service and you can see that you can get offers that are much cheaper. So this is why I recommend you checking one out while you're doing your travel planning. And then once you're out and about traveling, you can use a VPN service to unblock content that just say you're binge watching a show from home, you head to Japan like we are. Platforms like Netflix actually have specific content depending on where you are. And just say you're wanting to finish binging that show while you're on a plane or while you're relaxing and you find it's not available, you can switch on a VPN, pop it as if you're back home in Australia or America or the UK or wherever you are, and you can keep watching your show. So if you guys are interested in picking up your own VPN, we have an exclusive offer for you guys. Use the code The Nest to get 85% off plus an additional three months free. I'll link it all in the description below. Now let's head back to this Japan series. Okay, so it's probably the big thing that you guys have been wanting to know is how flat does this bed go in this capsule hotel? Let's test it out. So it definitely isn't a flat lay, like as if you're flying business class, it's definitely not a bed, but they do say it's based on NASA's zero gravity theory. So essentially, it's kind of like being on a sunbed. I mean, let's be honest, business class tickets cost thousands of dollars on planes, and you're really getting a almost flat lay bed for about 160 Australian dollars, and it's gonna take you from one city to another. We've done overnight buses, and you're just sitting up straight, maybe a slight decline. So, I don't know, it feels pretty comfy. I'll definitely have to let you guys know in the morning after the sleep. Now you guys are overnight, you probably want to keep your devices nice and charged, especially if you're waking up in a completely new city in the morning. Now they do have USB chargers, but they also have an AC, so you can charge up your laptop and your iPad while you sleep. Like this is a night bus, it is almost midnight, so you're probably going to want to go to sleep, but if you are crazy and wanting to do some work, there is a really sturdy bench here. And this there's so much space in here. I can put my laptop on here, which is actually quite nice. Being someone who works on the road, this is super handy because on trains and planes, it's usually a nightmare. It's usually so small, you're cramped up trying to edit. This is comfortable. I would do this during the day and get so much work done. I'm actually intrigued in what Wi-Fi on a bus is like. I mean, on a plane, it's pretty bad. The Wi-Fi though. So I'm just doing a little speed test. I'm <laughs> actually pretty impressed. 14 megabits download and 10 megabits upload. You could be streaming Netflix on here, watching YouTube, even uploading a vlog if you need to while you're overnight so you can do work. But let's be honest, if I was here during the day, I wouldn't be doing work. <laughs> Catch up on my Mario Kart skills. And speaking of Nintendo, let's see what Pokemon cards I have got. <laughs> I don't even remember the feeling of opening these. 21 years ago, I think I opened my first one, but let's have a look at what I got. If I still recognize the Pokemon. An Eevee. I got a something. <laughs> I got another something. I got a shiny. Anyways, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this one sealed. I want to send this to one of you guys. All you have to do is just leave any sort of comment on the video, whether you enjoyed our Japan series or you'd come do this overnight bus, and I'll just pick a random comment and post this out to you guys. There's a couple of more things I want to show you guys before I hit the hay. They gave us a nice bottle of water, a little fresh towel, and some more amenities. Gentle steam eye mask. Looks like it's meant for traveling. I'm intrigued. <laughs> oh, it's meant to warm up. Like a hand warmer? Let's see what else they gave us. A COVID mask. Huh? Um, okay. Earplugs. Not sure what this is in Japanese, but maybe welcome to the dream sleeper. Okay, let's have it at Google. Apparently, <laughs> these are for your ears. <laughs> okay, guys. I think I'm ready for bed. I've got my heated eye mask. Oh, 
It's warming up. Heated eye masks. Covid masks. My ear warmers. Oh, Jess is gonna laugh so much when she watches this vlog back. I'll see you guys nice and early in Osaka. I think I'm ready for bed. You'll soon be arriving at Osaka Station. Please take care of that was honestly an awesome experience highly recommend it got in a little bit early it's 6 46 here in osaka station so we left at 11 almost seven hours later hope you guys enjoyed that little video showing you one of the unique things you can do here in japan so hope you guys enjoyed it give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you did but i'm excited to go see jess and hunter see you guys next time